It's a rainy Saturday afternoon and we're gonna get the train to Mulgai and then walk back because Danny has this <laughs> walking challenge for work. So we need to do some, some and we're walking. winning as well, so let's keep it going. Very cozy day, so we might come I'm home looking and forward to it. We're having a bit of lunch here, so I just got a tuna panini. Then I got some fried eggs on toast, and I also got hot chocolate and a coffee. We have ordered a McDonald's for dinner because we're very tired after our long walk. So I just got a wrap and some chips. These are a bit, bit empty. Yeah, I know. And some chicken nuggets to share. And Danny got a burger. And we're watching Harry Potter. Woo! No, don't leave. No. <laughs> <coughs> no. No, don't, don't knock that, please. Danny and I went on another walk today and we walked into town, which was nice. And we weren't meant to be doing any shopping, but I walked past Zara and they had a sale on and I haven't shopped at Zara in ages. So I thought I would pop in and I found this dress, which was only 9 99 And it's just this long bodycon, like olive green dress. And it's very nice. I just thought this was quite nice and classy and I feel like I will wear this a lot. There was another dress I wanted but I only got one which I'm sad about. Bones! He's gonna climb up the curtains. It 
is Monday today and here is my current to-do list. I'll probably add stuff to this. But I haven't done anything so far and it is already one o'clock. So I'm hoping I can get through all of this but the main thing is I have an anti-bibliography due on Friday and I've written three of them but I need ten so I'm hoping to write two more today and then find a couple of other sources. We are off on our another walk. We're just gonna get a coffee and go to the Botanics. Mm -hmm. And maybe a sausage roll too. Maybe a sausage roll. Also, this 49ers so one last night, so everyone. So shaky. Is it? Oh, look at us both in red. Here. Wow. Ruins all of my shops. <laughs> all of my nice arty shops. I, may, I am the shop. Bones. I just had some really annoying news which has put me in a really bad mood. Basically I had my meeting with my dissertation supervisor last week which I think I spoke about in the last video and I liked him but he told me that he has never read any of my texts and he doesn't know anything about horror literature and he doesn't even like horror. So he told me that if I wanted to have a supervisor who knew something it had at least read my books then i was to email the main like supervisor organizer and i just emailed him and he told me that they can't that they're not going to change me because ugh, what was his wording the supervisor role is designed to offer advice regarding your independent work rather than direct or shape the course of the project itself it's just annoying because we put in a proposal and the summer for them to match us with a supervisor and I'm like what's the point of putting in a proposal and then getting matched with somebody who has nothing to do with my topic I just don't really understand what the point is of putting a proposal in then surely that everyone should just get matched up with someone random and it's not my supervisor's fault because he didn't choose to get matched up with me but I just don't really understand why I can't change to somebody who at least, I don't think any one at Glasgow is like a specialist in horror, but these people who are like specialists in like the gothic or even contemporary literature, who would work better, I think, at least, at least might have a bit of an idea, or even someone who's interested in it. And I would have understood if they couldn't change me because it's already like week three, but it's just their reason to me is like, well, what's the point of ever even handing in a proposal to get matched up with somebody if I'm gonna get matched up with someone who doesn't have an, that much knowledge of my topic. I'm sure he has more knowledge than me, but. <sighs> Danny's making me go on a run. Well, we'll see, it's at least a walk. I have not run. And um, I couldn't even tell you the last time I ran. On our way back from our run, we stopped past our Asian supermarket, so I got this ramen, which I think is just like a spicy ramen, and Danny got this pork one. And then we also got these, which I've seen in a couple of people's YouTube videos and a few TikToks. I think it's pronounced Tiboki, but I could be completely wrong. But we're gonna have these. I think you were really meant to cook it in a sauce but we're just going to add ours to our ramen tonight because we didn't buy a sauce for them oh they're quite like um no sticky yeah weird mm -hmm. I, don't hate them, I like it though
It is Sunday today and we are both slightly hungover, but we are going to go on a walk. I have no idea when the last time I vlogged was. So. Thank you. I know we were terrible day at the office. For Daddy's Christmas, he got a voucher for this cheese shop, which is on Great Western Road. I've never um, been a cheese before. It smelled really bad, it to be honest. And there's a American football game tonight, so we're gonna make a nice charcuterie board. You know how I love my charcuterie boards. Firstly, we got just a baguette. We also got these crisps, which turned out to be four pound eighty. That is the most expensive crisps I've ever bought, but we did have the voucher. I also look just so, I look tired. You can tell I'm hungover. We also got this fancy looking apple juice. Mm, green apple. Green, wow. yeah, green apple juice. I'm very excited to try this, I love apple juice. Then we got another loaf of bread. This one feels so heavy, yeah. like thick. We got some Isle of Mull cheddar. I am not really the biggest cheese fan at all. I only really like Cathedral City extra mature cheddar. Um, but I thought that I would try the Isle of Mull cheddar, it might be nice. They did have a St Andrews cheddar, which I've had before, and I do quite like that, but I thought I'd get something different. Then we got some salami picante, just some salami. Just some salami. Hopefully this will be nice. We got some mousse, mousse Chia Alvino. I don't know. This cheese. The guy let us try some of it in the shop and it's like the the bit of the oh my god I can't talk. <laughs> the, bit, the bit on the outside is it the is yeah, is um has red wine in it or something like that. I don't know. I didn't really like it to be honest, but I felt awkward and I felt like I had to be like, yeah, this is so tasty. Then the last cheese is this manchego. Manchego? Manchego? Manchego, I believe. Manchego, which Danny would like. So I'm not really the biggest cheese person, but we do have some extra mature cathedral city in the fridge, so I might end up having that. And then we just went and picked up some dip from Tesco because we already have <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had meat? <laughs> and I also got this, like more meats, just in case I don't like the salami or if I don't like the cheese, because this is our dinner, so. Yes. And that is everything. Goodness me, that will be a good I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna have to. Only put two scoops this time. Thank you. the California vlogs and I'm so sad I really want to go back 